All right, hi. Um, this is my third time here. Thanks, Dave, for having me up. Um, progressing in the company. So you we have great news to uh, tell you about reverse ionizer technology. Uh, I'm Patrick Hughes, uh, CEO and co-founder. Um, there's two inherent problems with almost every building in the United States that has a giant uh, air conditioning unit um, on the rooftop. And it's uh, cooling tower drift, as you can see on the right side, and also the biocontaminants that cling to uh, the scale that's built up in those cooling towers. And the water temperature is the exact uh, right degrees to uh, really breed. Um, the picture on the right there shows that the um, air goes up. It's loaded with the chemicals that they've used to try to treat the scale and the biocontaminants and it floats down to the city streets below. Who's our customers? Every single building owner in the country that has a cooling tower. There's approximately two million cooling towers throughout the United States. Legionnaires cases are on the rise. Um, the EPA has uh, told us that when you're walking down a city street in America and you think you've gotten the flu, you've actually gotten Legionella poisoning. One in 10 cases are fatal. The reason why you don't hear about it all that much is because it takes uh, two weeks or more to culture uh, the, um, the bacteria and see that it is Legionella. And generally, the hospitals do not want to uh, announce that they've had a Legionella case. So the cause of death is usually influenza or pneumonia. Um, so we've made a uh, plasma-based technology that I'll talk more about that's uh, finally here to address this uh, major issue that's uh, been uh, throughout the United States. You probably heard of the Legionnaire, Legionnaires Convention in uh, Philadelphia in 1976 in which the first cases were um, publicized. Um, the the conventioners, 29 uh, deaths and hundreds more sickened, and that's how it got its name. So um, we also have an electromagnetic solution for the scale buildup inside the pipes. You might think that uh, pipes are nice, shiny, and clean, but that's what's really inside the pipes. Uh, calcium carbonate makes up uh, the majority of it. Calcium carbonate is nature's concrete. It, it's uh, just a naturally occurring. It's like uh, the stalactites in when you go cave uh, spelunking. The chemicals used are the most corrosive um, out uh, in use today, corrosive number eight is the highest. Um, you can see there this one building uh, uses eight different uh, biocides and chemicals. That's what's happening in all these buildings throughout the American cities. Our go-to-market uh, strategy. So we have two products, again, the plasma and the electromagnetic uh, device. Um, it's very capital intensive to uh, uh, develop these products and do the testing. One test takes 96 hours, you tweak, you do 96 hours, you tweak 96 hours. It's just unbelievable. We started uh, seven years ago and uh, we're now going to market uh, literally uh, next week with our first two sales. Um, we have the plasma device uh, creates um, 3,600 degrees uh, temperature um, in a two millimeter um, space. The water passes uh, through the uh, plasma at uh, 20 gallons a minute, and it's just a matter of cycling all the water um, in the building's cooling system through the device. Uh, the vertical markets are incredible. Um, uh, healthcare. Just uh, last week, a brand new hospital it opened in. Um, Ohio and had his first Legionella death. So it was shocking. Um, we have, uh, what's our product differentiator? There is no continuous uh, water treatment uh, that exists today. We had a uh, meeting right across the street with the uh, highest levels at the EPA. Uh, they're greatly concerned about it. You've probably all heard about the Flint, Michigan Legionnaires, uh, Legionella uh, cases. Uh, the residents got together and filed a $775 million class action suit against the EPA for uh, being negligent in warning the residents of what was happening. So can you imagine what's happening with the cooling towers? Uh, but there is no solution up until uh, we've uh, developed this. 
We have uh, nine patents that have been issued on this technology. We have another dozen um, pending. We, uh, once we raise our next round of capital, which we'll talk about, uh, we plan to get another uh, dozen or two. Um, our business model is not to sell the device. Uh, a $20 billion engineering firm has come to us. They want to be our operations and maintenance partner. And they said, let's build a model just like the cable company set top box. Only put the box in there and uh, rent it out. Uh, we've created a, a global brand uh, called the Plasminator for our plasma device. It's using uh, plasma energy and it's a uh, eliminator of biocontaminants. Our team uh, consists of uh, former Bechtel, Exxon, uh, Google, um, just an incredible team, uh, Black and Beach. Um, there's me and our, our team on the left side. Um, Lorraine is an incredible water, uh, physical water treatment uh, consultant that uh, was recommended to us by CBRE, which is the world's largest uh, operator of uh, commercial property. Uh, our milestones, uh, we're going to uh, ship uh, two units. We'll be our first customer to a Fortune 500 company uh, next uh, week. And um, they've already told us that they plan to evangelize this technology. They're very progressive. It's a medical device manufacturer. And uh, we're going to get deluged with uh, uh, orders. Uh, we've had it well vetted uh, through the $20 billion um, uh, engineering firm and uh, the Fortune 500 company has uh, studied all of our testing to make sure that they can put this device in their world headquarter campus in northern New Jersey, which has 2,500 employees. So um, well vetted. And real quick and finally, just this month, um, National Underwriter um, is is the go-to uh, rag for um, uh, in uh, insurance for all the buildings, and there it is, the June issue. It's in the water, and on page 35, there it is, how Legionella affects building water systems and people. It's starting to come about. Um, if you live in Los Angeles, you probably saw the uh, headline in the Los Angeles Times where Disneyland had a Legionella breakout and uh, a death and major lawsuits. So uh, that's us, and... Um, I'll take questions. I've got a question. First of all, thank you. Yes. Uh, what is the financial incentive, if any, for someone to, to rent one of these uh, devices? So um, the chemical usage uh, would, would be eliminated. Um, you're going to greatly reduce your risk. The insurance industry is starting to figure out how to um, uh, give a, a reduction on your uh, overall liability by putting these in. Um, the head of Worldwide Resorts for Disney uh, made a comment after that death in Disneyland and said, you know, I've got 50 million guests a year and I can't be killing my customers with my cooling towers. Major incentive for the, the employees and the general public that access buildings on a daily basis. The return, uh, has been estimated by Department of Energy to be three years or less. Um, just a couple, I guess, engineering-related questions. How, how are people um, getting in contact with the uh, Legion? How are they being exposed? It's an aerosol. So you saw on the very first slide uh, the cooling tower. Uh, the the it it it, it brings the uh, heat, extracts the heat out of the water and the um, evaporation of the uh, water ha carries the chemicals and also carries the bacteria. Okay. And it's heavier than air and it falls down to the city streets. If you happen to be walking through on the right uh, time, you'll, you'll uh, breathe it in. And if you have a low immune system or if you're a smoker or a child, you, you have a big chance of getting Legionella poison. So, uh Thank you. And as just as far as general understanding, in, in urban areas and cities, when you walk by sometimes sewer grates, you see uh, a similar evaporation. Is that a similar steam. process? Or, or no, that's a different, uh, different steam, and it's not treated by chemicals. And uh, generally, the temperature of the water in a cooling system is the exact right temperature for breeding um, bacteria. 
and also the scale that builds up is the feed source. Thank you. You said that um, buildings all around the country will need this. You had many, many verticals in different ways that you were talking about segmenting the market. Yes. Who are your first customer? Not, not, not the one you already closed, yes. but like customers two through 10, who are the best ones? So the, the, uh, we said CBRE, the world's largest uh, uh, manager of property, five billion square feet in the world. The second largest uh, who manages four billion square feet is Jones Lang LaSalle, and they're the actual managers of the Fortune 500 company's uh, physical plant. So everything you had listed, I saw universities and hospitals and other things, they're all within that. Oh, absolutely. Okay. In incredibly, hospitals are, are especially vulnerable because engineers uh, and, and architects did not know about this in, in, for, for, until 1976 and a lot after that. And they designed the cooling towers right near the air intakes of the buildings. So okay. you don't know it, but you're breathing this stuff in. And the big, the, the first one you said, CR? CBRE. Sorry, CBRE. Oil right. Banker. So, yeah, right. So who, who there are you working with? Senior VP out of their headquarters in Los Angeles. Okay. And if they don't go with you, how else are they going to solve this problem? Well, it's not that they're not going to go with us. Uh, so, so they're monitoring this Fortune 500 uh, installation that's going to uh, begin uh, next month. Right. And it's going to run for three months. It's been well tested in the Special Pathogens Laboratory in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, who are the Legionella experts. And they're pretty convinced uh, that what works in the lab is now going to work in the field. And they just plan to tell the building owners um, of the results. It's going to be well publicized. Got it. Okay, thanks. What was the ask that you're having for us? Okay, great question. So um, we've raised $7.8 million in the seven years. Uh, we had a billionaire investor um, that put 2.6 million in. Unfortunately, he's succumbed to uh, dementia. Um, we are going to be uh, going out with a $5 million raise um, next week or after the fourth. Um, we are looking for one more angel investor of about $250,000 uh, to bridge us. I've got uh, one term sheet from uh, a Dubai um, engineering firm uh, for two million that wants to then come in with 20 million. Uh, the, the ROIs on this are just off the charts, um, especially if you rent the equipment rather than sell it. Just to give you an example of the potential revenue, um, if I did sell that unit, it would probably go for around $125,000, $150,000. A thousand units is $125 million in revenue. And one last thing is a German uh, firm that makes uh, boilers, one of the largest in the world. I was in New York th this morning, and we're in negotiations to possibly have them become our strategic investor uh, and partner for everything from distribution, installation, maintenance, warranty, um, and customer um, assistance. Just time for questions from the audience. I have one more too, Dave. Um, how far out ahead of would-be competitors do you really think you are? So I've got nine patents, and when you file for a patent, you have to do um, um, the research for prior art. There's no technology that exists today. When I was over across the street at the uh, secretary's level at the EPA, there's no competition. And Oh, and I should make one more point. Um, Department of Homeland Security uh, called us because of that meeting, and they're ordering a box. So that'll be my third sale. So, uh, Patrick, I've got a question for you. Yes. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, you've got a, an immense potential market here, um, and this appears to be a Series A request yes. around $5 million. Uh, Are you going to have to stop at the Series A round, or are you going to go beyond it? That's the first question. Second question, on the manufacturing side, do you intend to manufacture these yourself? Or are you using contract manufacturing? And if you're going to manufacture them yourself, what would it cost on a project finance basis to put this all got together? It. So I you have about 30, seconds. 30 seconds. I've got a contract manufacturer lined up that can do 1,000 units a month. Uh, the German manufacturer of the boilers uh, can do a lot more than that. And the first question was, Series, series A. So need I, I don't think I'm going to need any more funds because uh, the orders that will come in, um, I can take to the bank um, 
The customers want this technology. They've been uh, screaming for it for 40 years. Thank you.